Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Prison Architect. I've got a couple of extra bits over here. I'll wait until they finish doing all of that before I... Actually, well, I can have a look. Deployment. Okay, nothing has actually changed on there, so we don't, we don't need to worry about it. Uh, that one requires a door, so I will just put a door in here. Walls and doors. And I'll put a large jail door right on there. So that one's got the jail door in there, ready to roll. These guys just got that little bit of wall there to finish. I suspect they've just about done down over here. Yes. Once they've finished that, I will then go and do grass all the way round the outside in a loop so that we can start getting the wall built all the way around the edge. This is going to be another self-contained unit. I'm going to put an additional pump over here. I'm going to put a new water pump station. I'll put that over this side as well as a couple of power stations over this side. And we will... The laundry... I won't. I'll leave the laundry where it is, but I will put a medical bay over this side, a canteen and kitchen over this side, a staff room over this side, um, separate shower block, uh, probably double the size of that one because I'm planning to have a very big maximum uh, supermax. Like, supermax is able, in theory, to get us a lot of money, right? Intake in here. Uh, criminally Insane Supermax. Criminally Insane are 3,000 per customer, which is pretty good. Um, but Supermax is 2,000 per customer, so I'd like to get a load of those. And once Supermax is built, I will also make Prisoner Transfer available as well. Um, so we get 15,000 per Prisoner Transfer. And I'll bring all of those in. Um, but we want to build the Protective Custody first. And, well, I've got all of the extra bits that I want to build over here before I start constructing anything to do with the actual cells themselves. i got 24 people awaiting solitary. Mo Ooh. I just found a flag. Right, wait a minute. i got a flag right there. A dog has found a flag right there. Why are those lights up? Shouldn't be up there. We're very peculiar. I'll move them. I missed that completely, didn't I? And then... Uh, what time is it? It's 6am. I was going to do it more in the middle of the night, but I'll do it now. Not that. We'll put all of those down like that. I'm going to go with a tunnel search. Start that one. Right. Speed time up once again. Let these guys finish doing what they're doing along there. I've got one more bit there. Most of the rest of the wall has now been finished. We will do a full tunnel search. Whether that was a false flag that was brought up down here, I don't know. It could very well have been a false flag. That is a possibility. Um... Something tells me I shouldn't discount the possibility of criminally insane digging tunnels to get out. Now that I've processed them through solitary like they needed, because they did need that. I've only got, tw I've got 22, 23 awaiting solitary. They needed it. They needed to be able to do that. Um, I've got a tunnel there that has been found. Have we got any more? Oh, that's... Mail has been brought in there. wonder what that was. Right, I found one tunnel so far. There. Telling me that I found one tunnel. That appears to be all we found. I got 399 places out of 404 have been searched. Uh, it looks like they're giving up now, so I will go to Foundations. I don't know why it has to do this whole give up, I can't be bothered. But it does. And I'll bring that all the way down over there. And $20 to remove tunnels. Right. No more tunnel searching. That will be enough. I just had a flash up there for something to do with the guard. Um, thinking that we ought to allow some more prisoners into the, into the prison. Because I've only got minimum security people coming in at the moment. So I think that we will change it over. 
We will add in a few extra. I'm not going to allow the full ratio of criminally insane people to come in, but I will allow some medium security to come in. There. So there's 10,000 coming in. Maximum security as well. We'll push that up to 33,000. Uh, Supermax, I don't have any. So we close that one. Criminally insane. Next intake would be 105 and get me 200,000. I'm not going to do that. And I'm not going to do that either. What we'll do is I will take maximum of those for now. That's what we'll do is we'll take maximum of them for our next day's intake. And then once we've done that with our next day's intake, then the following day's intake will go a little bit higher. Um, uh, well, I'll go for maximum security and allow a set number to come in. And then the day after that, we'll allow some more criminally insane people to come in as well. As soon as this little bit here is finished, I can add some walls around the edge and I can start actually constructing the cells in the pattern that I would like them to be constructed. I gotta see how we want this to work first. Um, clicking over there didn't seem to do anything. You really? You're gonna give up there? You, you, you've hardly got anything left to do here. You, you could just finish that bit off. Um, I know what I am going to do. I'll let... We'll, we'll let... Hang on. Let's let them finish this bit first. And then once they've done that, I'm going to grass that bit out so they remove those trees. I want to take all of those trees out. Because just using grass is the cheapest way to do it. In your own time... It's not going to take them... They've got like a couple of little bits left to do here. If they could hurry up and just finish that. I think it's that one and that one. It's, yeah. There's one square there. We've got some rubbish to take out. Here comes the next dude. Really? They're taking an awful long time to get down here. Are they still working over the other side? I don't see anybody over here. There's a prisoner over there. It shouldn't be. There's actually... There's a lot of prisoners over here that shouldn't be. Uh, we're going to change that round. We're going to go to deployment like this. That now, because that is now properly a secure area, I'll change that to access only. Actually, I'm thinking for a minute we can just go staff only, can't we? How do I take it off? Uh, unlocked. Anyone will be permitted to... An all is still saying prioritize ah access only and right click that clears the access only bit right so then i will go staff only in here that's what i want in there staff only so as long as i say staff only like that i don't think i need to do anything else this down here has not been finished if you could uh control left click High priority. Right, I will high prioritize that for a second. I've done all the other searches that I want to do. i just got to wait for them to come along and finish this bit. There's the dude. One little extra bit. I think it's right there. I think that's the only bit that's left to do. No, there's another bit still to do. There. He's on his way. But they weren't prioritized. I don't know why they didn't prioritize it, but they chose not to. No. Still more. Well, as... Ah! No, it's now finished. Excellent. Right, that's good. So that bit is now done. I can slow that down. And then next... Uh, what have I got? Oh, I got the Utani wall on here. We've got to make sure that we stick with the Utani wall on this. So if we take a quick build right here. I'm not going to use the basic cell for these. I'm going to use the improved cell. I'm going to go with that one. And I was thinking of doing, like, a couple lines of them along the bottom, like that. So do one there, say, and it would be one there, and it would be one there. It would fit exactly. And another one over there, and we'd still have a gap in between. But what I'm actually thinking is if I was to do one there like that, and then uh, that would be the other end. So then I would leave... That would leave a gap of one. And if I go over there, that would leave a gap of two in between them. And I go over again, that would leave a gap of three in between them. And I just do a big long line of them all the way up through like that. 
I'm actually thinking that would be the best option for protective custody. So I will start off by putting these in here. I don't know how many I'm going to need for protective custody, which is why I'm doing it like this. And I'm just going to undo those three because I want to make sure that we have got Utani wall for this. These are going there. We're going to go with that wall right there. That's what I want. So we'll put you right in there like that. And we'll go all the way up through here. So this is going to be protective custody. And I suspect that... Right, if I go there like that, I want to go up by one more. So I'm going to need to move that one out of the way. Um... I might have to redo it a little bit. I'll put a small yard for them up here as well. And we could put a small separate canteen. It should be alright to be served by the kitchen that is there already. Um, so that jail door there. For a minute we will just dismantle that one. And then if I go back to quick build over here. And we go to the improved cell. It's now gone. There we go. We'll just go that way instead of cycling through everything. And I bring that one over there. And drop that one down on there like that. Excellent. So there's one line. And then I can come over here and I can do the other side. So we go uh, leave a gap of one, two, three. We've got a nice wide corridor that will go up between all of them. And this one then will be a mirror image of the existing one. I'm hoping that this will all work exactly as I'm planning. I don't see any reason why it won't. Put that all the way up through there. And one there. That would be the top one. If I find that I need more, I can always do some of this bigger zone that I've got going up through there. Right? I can add in a little bit to it going up there. Uh, foundation down here. I'm going to go there and I'll take um, Utani wall and I will put foundation right there like that. Now, I've already got some, so if I add in that bit, hopefully that will work, doing it like that. And then I want to build an actual Utani wall along that bit. So I want to go to walls and doors, and I'm going to take that one, and I just want to put those three along the bottom down there. And this bit here... I did say, I was, yeah, I'll do that as grass. I was thinking of maybe doing that as some um, sandstone in there, but I don't think I will. I think I will do all of that as grass as well. So we will bring all of that up like that to that point there. I won't go any higher than that. I will leave it at that point there. And then this area up here, this I want to turn into a yard for them. It's only going to be a small yard. So I will also do grass up through there as well. Now I've got... I'll bring that, I'll put that as grass down to that bit right there for now. Like that. I won't go any further than that. And we'll, we'll leave it like that. So there is a little bit of work for them to do. That's going to be protective custody in there. And so I'm going to, like I said, I want a small canteen. Have we got a quick build for a canteen? Solitary office, we have got a canteen. And it's a small quick build for a canteen. That's perfect. That is exactly spot on perfect what I want. Because I'd like them to access this through their yard that I'm going to build them over here. So I'm going to put that one up against that wall up there. Like that. And I think that's the... That's going to be where I want it. Right there. That one's going to go right there. Like that. So they can, they can get to it there, and then I will have a footpath. Should I have a put footpath going up? Not quite sure how I'm going to do that. Right. That Utani wall in there is not quite what I want to do, is it? We're going to need to demolish that bit of wall there. I don't need to demolish any more. I just want to demolish that bit. And then I want to take a large jail door. And I'll put that one into there like that. And then after that, we'll... I'll start to figure out the rest of it in a minute. Right, one death today. What's going on in here? What? Okay, there's some serious bad juju going on here. 
I'm starting to think that because I've got people go in here to see the psychologist, maybe we ought to put a um, another metal detector over here. Now, I do have a lot of metal detectors around, and now comes a dead guard. I could, I could do. Wait, I've lost three guards. I'm supposed to have two hundred guards. Uh, yeah, two hundred guards. I've lost three of them. Losing three guards was not on the master plan. I've also got 64 cooks at the moment. I'm going to add in an extra couple of cooks. I don't know how many I should add in. I think I've got one cook per cooker. Some extra cooks probably wouldn't hurt. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, there. Right, now I've got 70 cooks. Whether that's going to be too many cooks, I don't really know. But uh, hopefully it will work out okay. And in here, that's now working all right. They're putting in the extra foundations that they're going to need around the edges. We've also should have all of the new stuff bought in. Well, I got some of the stuff bought in. There's a load of there's some stuff in storage over there, but not all of it yet. We're going to let this finished building over here. I want this built before I go and do the rest of the jobs that I want to do. Like, we're going to start building things over the other side. Um, because building that stuff over the other side, that's a really, really huge undertaking that we're going to be going on. Okay, I've got three prisoners arriving on minimum security in 16 hours' time. So, my intake at the moment, I've got medium security is now at capacity. Low security is not quite at capacity, but that's fine. So I'm now going to close both of those down. And I've got capacity of 108, and I've got 82 in at the moment. So I'm going to take in 20 total prisoners here. I'm going to take in 20 maximum security prisoners today. Um, maximum security. There. So it doesn't matter where that one goes, just I'm, I'm taking in 20. There. Fill to 20, your prison is now closed to new inmates. No, it's not. It shouldn't be. Oh, no. To I don't want total prisoners. I want that one. Number per day. I want 20 new coming in. Right there. And that's what we're going to take. I'm not going to take any more than that. Next intake, 20 prisoners. So I'll let them come in. Then, on the next day, we will... Oh, excuse me. Next day, we will take some insane security prisoners as well. Right, they're very quickly putting that together. We're clearing this bit out in here. And I will turn that into a yard. Um, I think I will have them accessing that via the yard. So what I will also do is I will put a staff door on here as well. So the staff can come in through one side, and then that will only be accessible through the protective custody yard. And that will keep them separate from the rest of the prison. Because that's kind of the idea, isn't it? You, you, we're supposed to keep them separate from the rest of the prison, because they're in protective custody. At least as far as I know, is how it's supposed to work. Right, I'll put the grass into there, so I'll finish doing that. And I will do the same down here, like this. Get all of that done. That's going to just rip, make them rip out the rest of the tree stumps and, and finish tidying that little area up. Um, lights in here. I want to put lights in. I'll do what I have done previously down through here. Like that. And then I'm going to need to come over here and I'm going to need to do some work with putting in utilities as well. I'm hoping I have got sufficient utilities here. It's power that we mostly got, uh, we're going to have an issue with, isn't it? So we want to go to logistics next. No. Um, right, at the moment, deployment is for anybody. I'm not, I'm not going to worry about that. It's utilities that I want to deal with. Electrical cable. I will take that electrical cable off of there like that and then I will run that one right the way down there like that right down through the middle I'll put extra lights inside in a bit I'm not going to do that just yet uh, then I'm going to take that pipe there and that's going to run across the top 
Except I don't think that's going to work. I mean, I can try it like that, but I don't think it's going to be long enough. I think there is a limit on the length of short pipe, the small pipe. A uh, limited length of small pipe can run before the pressure becomes too low, but it doesn't actually tell me in the tooltip what that limited length is. So what we'll do is I will run this down here like this in some big long lines because that's going to be the easiest way to install that pipe. But then what I will do is I will also run it out like this. And I will just extend that down like that. There, so that goes around in a big loop. And then I'll take the large pipe over here, and I'll run that one up there. And that will join the large pipe in all the way around. Or it should do. So that those are all in where they should be. And I don't have a guard over here now. So I'm going to, now that I've, uh, we'll go with deployment and I will assign a guard in here. Like that. And I will have a patrol. A blue patrol. Along there. And I will assign a guard onto that blue patrol. So that's going to keep a guard or two over this way to keep opening and closing the jail door there on the protective custody suite. Uh, walls and doors. I actually want this to be yellow stripes. So that one is going to go on to there. You. Right there. Uh, dismantle. Remove that door right there and then... Large jail door here. The yellow stripe one. That one's going to go into there. I should also replace all of the doors on my jail cells all the way down through with protective custody stripes as well. So that we know that this is all protected custody. I mean, I haven't done it anywhere else. I haven't, like, done it to all of these. Like, you'd think that maybe I should. It's a time consuming no, I don't I don't think I will do that, but I will I will put one on there just to mark that as protective custody. And I'm also going to end up uh putting another door on here. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do that. I think I'll put it right there on that end. And then we will put the fence that will go round uh the fence will go from there down around. So that will then be their yard. So if we go to walls and doors here, and we take fence, and that will go from that bit. Uh, yes. No. No, cancel that. Don't do that. Uh, walls and doors, fence. I'll put the fence down here. I can run down to there. Like that. Oh. Nope. I thought it was going to crash for a minute. No, it's not crashed. It's fine. Uh, we'll run the fence down there like that, and then I've also got this line down here. I could leave that as part of the yard, but I'm not actually going to do that. I don't want to do that. I'm going to put the yard. Uh, the yard is going to come up here, so there's going to be a double there so that I can have a gate running through, and then that's going to come over to there. So that bit down on that corner is not going to be done. That one can be dismantled, but that fence across there, that will be left in place there. And I want to go to utilities again. Just waiting for them to connect up those utilities. I've got a load of televisions and that in here that are going to need to be connected up. Um, and then I'm also going to want to connect up that one. So I'm going to drop you down through there. And then objects, and we're going to put some lights in here. So I'll do one on each corner like that. And how am I going to do this? One each. Uh, cancel those two. Bring them in. Like that. There. Go like that. That, I think, is the best pattern to do for this one. And then I will go up there. One, two, three. I go one, two, three on there. Right, that's the best pattern, I think. Like that. And then this one here will also have a similar one. There, I've now got that as a canteen. It's going to go there, and that one's going to go there, and that one's already got one. And then I'm going to go to deployment, and this is going to be protective custody only. And the other thing I want to do is I want to go to walls and doors. I want to put a staff door 
on the back of this canteen. That one's going to go there, like that. And I need to upgrade the walls on here. I forgot to put that as Utani wall on there. That's another thing I'm going to do. We will upgrade that to Utani wall all the way along there. Uh, wait a minute. Have I... What have I got? I got 102. Let's, let's not forget. I, I almost completely forgot about this. Right, let's close that one down there, and then insane security, I've got space for 183 in total, and I've got, at the moment, 122, so if I was to add 40, that would take me up to 162, that would leave spaces for just under 20, I think that would be fine. Shared capacity is 9. That's going to be changing around in a bit because it's going to go to protective custody instead. Uh, so we're going to add 40 criminally insane in the morning. There, like that. And they are going to be criminally insane. There. Right. 40. That's another 120,000 people that are coming into this prison. Those are almost finished. When they're finished, I will change that over to protective custody in there. This one up here is soon going to be ready to classify as a yard. That bit of fence right there can go. Demolish that one. Don't demolish any more than that. Just that one right there. Then I want walls and doors and I want a stripey door there. That one. So I've got a guard that is patrolling backwards and forwards here, and he will also be patrolling on that bit. Right there. Right, that's looking good. And then I want flooring. Sandstone. That's going to go over there like that. I'll put sandstone on that bit as well. And we will put sandstone over here. Then I'm going to do that like that. And it's going to be a sandstone path around the... I'm actually going to do that right the way around the edge of this. Because this is going to be a yard anyway. I think that'll be fine. So I'll do that down to there. And then I will do that over to there. So there's the sandstone that will go all the way around the very edges. Just like that. No prisoners assigned to eat in this canteen. That's because I don't have any protective custody prisoners just yet. I want them to just finish doing that. If they can come in and finish doing that one right there, then all of these cells will be assigned correctly. I've got 40 new prisoners arriving. Let's see what the deployment is looking like. Here. Right, that's definitely staff only in there, and that's still staff only in there. They should escort these new prisoners from here down around. They're going to be here in 40 minutes. And they should escort them all down around and then bring them into their cells down here without any problems. At the moment, we've still got no issues. I've got three in solitary, nine in lockdown. I've got no other problems whatsoever. Let's slow that down a minute. I've got the right prisoners have now turned up. I've got... A patrol that is running through here. They've got a canteen there, although there's nobody assigned to eat there at the moment. And then we're going to go in here and we're going to go deployment, protective custody only. In there. That is protective custody only. And then I'm going to go to rooms here. And that one is also going to be a yard. Right there. That right there is a yard, as is that little bit down there. So you are saying... Our workforce is getting a little bit tired, so we're going to let them rest up for a minute. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to go and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.